hello and welcome again to our YouTube channel where today we've got a tutorial on reading oscilloscopes traces. I uh, designed especially for GCSE physics, but if you're AP physics, A level physics, IB physics, or somebody just recapping this, it's it's pretty appropriate. So today we'll break down very, very briefly the basics of understanding oscilloscope readings, a uh, fundamental scale in electronics and physics. Firstly, what is an oscilloscope? An oscilloscope is a device used to visualize and analyze the waveform of electronic signals. It's like a window into the world of electricity, allowing us to see how voltage changes over time. So let's start by understanding the display interface of an oscilloscope, which I've got a diagram of here. When you look at the screen, you'll see a graph with um, horizontal and vertical divisions on it, on those axes. The horizontal axis typically represents time. So here we can see, I'll get the little pen thing so we can do a little marker, right? So it's telling us here the division for each um, each square that we've got here, right? In the in the x axis, those being each being four microsecond per division. So we can like look at an entire you know waveform here, which goes across like one, two, three, four. Okay, so I've got like 1600 microseconds for my time period. And then of course, if I want to, what I can do is knowing that time period is one over frequency, I can invert that number and have the frequency of the wave. Okay, pretty cool. And the vertical axis typically represents uh, voltage, as we can see here. So here each division is 50 millivolts. So I can kind of go from, you know, the, the rest point, right? I can look up, it's about two, right? Just kind of eyeball and spitball in this. So I can see that this has an amplitude of 100 millivolts in terms of its, uh, how much it's oscillating there in the Y. So let's talk, let's talk about this function called triggering. So triggering allows us to dictate and tell the oscilloscope when to start drawing the waveform because without triggering the waveform would just scroll across this screen continuously uh, making it impossible to analyze so with triggering we can decide when this waveform is being read when it stopped being read so then we can actually analyze them and get into you know okay here we've got 250 uh, microseconds for the division and we've got 10 volts for the other division so we can stop it and we can start to make some uh, determinations about this wave and actually analyze it because that's the point of using this tool of the oscilloscope. Now let's dive into what well, we already have but again diving into reading the waveform. The, the waveform which we can see you know so you can see this sinusoidal function I've just drawn over it. Um, represents how the voltage changes over time. As we can see, it's oscillating up and down here, right? The peaks and troughs of the wavefront indicate the maximum and minimum voltages respectively, which for this, uh, we've got a peak of eight, we've got a, a trough of minus eight uh, in volts. That's where we've got our units here on the axes. And the distance between these peaks tells us the frequency, right? Because if I'm looking from peak to peak here, I'm looking across one whole wave i've got the time period invert that number as i said before time period equals one over frequency i got the frequency in hertz so let's kind of conclude things i guess here really All right oscilloscopes are something that allow us to take these measurements allowing us to take these measurements of voltage frequency and time period all directly from the waveform and this makes it a powerful tool for troubleshooting circuits understanding how electronic devices work analyzing signals whatever and understanding these oscilloscope traces has numerous applications in various fields it's used in electronics for testing circuits in you know classical physics for analyzing waveforms and in engineering for designing and optimizing systems so i guess if we're going to conclude things here, I guess we could say in conclusion, learning to read oscilloscope traces is an essential skill for anyone interested in electronics or physics. And with practice and understanding, you'll be able to unlock a whole new level of insight into the world of electricity. 
So thanks for watching and happy waveform Anna analyzing. That's the end of my little tutorial here. If you want to stick around and hear more about me, feel free. But if you want to leave now because you've got your learning done, I totally understand. So a little bit about me. Um, again, the intention of this channel is to educate, is to help, especially high school students um, in the world of physics. So thank you just simply for your interest in watching this or commenting or whatever. Um, the support means a lot. And should you have any other questions or need assistance, you just reach out to me. I've got a bunch of links I'm going to outline here, but they're also in the description below. So these are all in the description below. They are very, very clickable. Um, I've got my link tree, which links to all this stuff. The YouTube, you're already on it. Please consider subscribing. If you'd like physical resources, I've got a bunch of free and paid stuff over on my Tez storefront. There's a link there. Um, my Twitter is right there which i'm not super active on at the moment but i would like to be more the instagram page and if you would like to show some sort of financial support which is not expected i have a ko-fi page and any donations are always welcome for me to go buy a coffee or usually actually to go buy new running shoes because that's kind of what i run through all the time that's my big expense in life but thank you again for for watching today thank you again for your attention and hopefully i'll see you all again in another video very soon